Thank you, it's so great to be here. Honestly, the food. I am such a big fan of Filipino cuisine. Um, I'm gonna eat my way through here, especially because I'm gonna be rehearsing a lot because I haven't been able to work with our music director until I got here. So I'll be spending a lot of time uh, working really hard to get the concert in the best shape possible and in anticipation of the two concerts that I'm doing here. Well, one thing that happens a lot with Broadway actors is uh, that you're able to give back and that you're able to pass on the knowledge that other people have taught you. And I think it's really one of the most rewarding things about being an actor. Uh, so I always jump at the opportunity to get to do master classes and uh, to work with students. Um, I think specifically uh, what we're going to be doing is it'll be a little bit part Q&A, part uh, working uh, with song performance. Uh, and just trying to pass on some of the tips that I've learned over the years. Yeah. Well, I mean, likewise, it's not every day that a Broadway actor gets to come to Manila, so I'm really, I'm the lucky one here. Um, but in terms of getting to create a role, it's amazing to be able to do something and put your own stamp on it and not to be able to go to a cast recording and see how someone else did it or watch a video and see another person's interpretation. I think it's really rewarding. I, I always try to do new works, things that I can really be the first person to really dig in and uh, get to play that part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, back in uh, September, I worked on um, a live capture of Newsies, which is going to be released in theaters, I think, internationally. I'm not sure if uh, the Philippines has announced when they're going to do it yet, but it was really great. Uh, they, they took some of the original cast from the Broadway production and mixed it in with people who had done it on tour to basically create an all-star cast and um, I'm really I'm really really excited it's so rare that you get to do something in the theater and get it to be uh, preserved in that kind of way and we also we shot it over the course of the uh, over the course of a week so there are cameras all over people are going to get to see newsies from a million different angles uh, really a once in a lifetime kind of experience It was so amazing getting to reunite with this cast. It was one of those shows that it was so many people's Broadway debut. It was one of my first originating of a role. Uh, and it was one of those experiences that we started as like just a tiny little thing uh, in Paper Mill Playhouse, a regional theater in New Jersey. And then to get to go to Broadway with it. And originally we were just supposed to be a limited run and see it become sort of this global phenomenon. And then to get to do it in a film, it felt really special. It, it was a lot of our firsts and uh, I just became so close with this cast. I think also so many of us were boys who do musical theater where often you were the one kid in your hometown who really liked to do that or you were the one kid in ballet class. And so to have an entire community of kids who all had this similar incredible passion all in one place. It was just, it was a really magnetic energy. You know, I think this is a really great thing that they've started recording these films. I know as a kid growing up, I was such a massive, huge theater fan, and every little like scrap of theater that I could get, I would just take it and run with it. And you know, when I was little, we would watch maybe the Tony Awards like once a year, or maybe like the Thanksgiving Day Parade, you would get to see a Broadway show on TV. And really that was it. Otherwise you would have to fly to New York City to go see a Broadway show. So I think it's really great that they're being able to sort of document these and uh, sort of give it to the masses so everyone can enjoy theater. Um, I do also think though that there is something really magical about going to see a Broadway show. It really is like a once in a lifetime thing and it can only really be seen in one small tiny pocket of New York City, uh, which is really special. But being able to find ways to give it to the masses is also, I think, a, a great balance that they're able to do right now.
Well, in terms of uh, concerts, I'm performing at uh, Chef Jesse uh, in a more like intimate cabaret setting, and then at uh, BCG. Is that it? And then at BCG, uh, which will be a bigger concert venue. Um, and then in terms of just getting to see Manila, I mean, I I just turned over a list of things that I want to do. I want to check out Intramuros, uh, go to like Rizal Park, um, definitely do some mall shopping. Like I have heard amazing things about the malls in Manila. And of course, Christmas is coming up. So all of my US friends are going to get like the best Christmas presents ever this year. From the concert, it's going to be a mixture of uh, standard Broadway stuff, songs that everyone will know, uh, some more new stuff, uh, more contemporary musical theater, as well as uh, some classic holiday songs and uh, some songs that are in Tagalog, actually, uh, that are written by um, Filipino writers. Uh, and that's really exciting. I've never sung in Tagalog, and uh, it's really cool, and I, I'm happy that uh, I'm going to get to perform uh, some songs that are of the culture of the people who are going to be in the audience. Oh man! Well, my favorite song is Kumoko uh, Tiku Titap, and so that has been a total tongue twister trying to like wrap my mind around all of that. I definitely walk down the streets of New York with like my headphones in. I'm sure if anyone like on the subway sees me, they think I'm probably like a crazy person. Just like, uh, but I love it. Um, I'm really excited. Yeah, so after I finish my two concerts in Manila, um, I'm really excited because I'm going to go to Ilo Ilo City, which actually is the hometown of my producer, Jet Tolentino. Uh, so we're going to do a concert there for, I think, like 2,000 people. It'll be the biggest concert I've ever done. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, it's going to be really cool. Uh, and that's going to be on December 17th. Hi theater fans Manila, it's Andrew Keenan Bulger and I'm so excited to be in the Philippines. I want to invite you to my concert, A Very Broadway Christmas in Manila. I'm going to be performing on December 9th at Chef Jesse and December 11th at BGC.